guys trade coming back at your screen by means of the world wide web and today for you guys we're going to get into a six star evolution video so today we're going to be evolving orwin guys so you need a miracle totem two fire totems a dragon mimic a metal mimic along with 500,000 zell and you can take your orwin up to six star so let's check this guy out this is nothing special the strong grows stronger it is only natural all right guys there he is six star orwin so um information is over there to the left side as usual now guys um only thing i'm going to be getting into is the specifics of this guy um i must say he's a really cool looking unit really good looking unit definitely hands down but um other than that to get into the specifics um his leader skill has a 15 percent chance to ignore defense and um the chance of BB gaze greatly filling when attacking, when it activates, um, you will get 5 BC um, instant gauge refill, which is good stuff. Now I have to test it. I don't know if that's per hit or per entire attack animation. I don't quite know that yet. We'll have to test it and find out. But uh, maybe I'll find out in this video. But um, his BB which is called flame dragon flash um, it has a 45 percent chance of causing sickness and poison now this guy's SBB is completely different from his BB guys um, it's still an AOE but uh his SBB inflicts status uh, excuse me his BB inflicts status ailments his SBB does not at all what it does it is it boosts attack at SBB 10 by 70 percent for three turns and then it grants ignore defense to your whole squad for two turns now I haven't tested this myself but I was informed that Orwin is instant defense ignore so I'm um, hopefully you guys know the difference by now if you don't I made a video in the past explaining the differences you can go check that video out and see for yourselves um, the differences between defense ignoring units but I, I, I was um, informed that Orwin is instant defense ignore, which is great. So um, automatically, I'm probably going to make this guy the leader of my metal parade squad because of that. Um, he has a good enough leader skill, a chance to ignore defense, which is great. He has a defense ignore move or SBB, which is also great. So I think he'll be really good in a uh, metal parade for sure. So um definitely good unit here definitely be working on uh getting that sbb unlocked for sure going to need it so let's get this guy's level maxed out should be able to should i use a crystal of a different element if i have to <clears throat> so you're gonna you're gonna have to excuse me guys um i feel a little sickness coming on so i may sound different to you i don't know <laughs> But I'm um, definitely feeling a little sickness coming on in my throat here, so can't uh, be as hype as I usually am. I apologize for that. Yes, great success again. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. So mine's guardian type. High defense, baby. I like it. Alright, so he's a cool looking unit, hands down. I really like his look. Okay, let's take him out for our test run. Here we go. Orwin for the win, baby. So what friend to bring? Let's bring Seacott. Alright, cool beans. So this is my metal parade squad. I'm thinking about taking SGX out as leader and putting it Orwin. I'm pretty confident I'm going to do that. Pretty confident. Alright, so let's put our uh, battle animations on so you guys can see. And uh, here we go, let's do an attack, let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's fresh. That flame dragon, bro. That flame dragon. Alright, um, usually I would get into the story, guys, but as I stated earlier, I don't think my throat is going to be up to it. I really don't think so. 
So, um, I'll kind of just summarize it. Um, Orwin is the Emperor of Agni. He's very powerful. And, um, he ruled his subjects pretty much with an iron fist. But he also had the strongest, or he was working towards building up the strongest army ever. So he trained a lot of units to be really good. But, um, he ended up getting ambushed by the God Army. And that caught him off guard, so he abandoned his people. But he kind of left the scene just to train up. And he came back stronger than ever. So, uh, and uh, took on the God Army. So that's how that went. Sorry, I can't bring you the entire story. I just don't think my throat is going to be up to it, guys. And a little bit of sickness going on in me. That's a really good attack animation though for sure. That flame dragon man, purple dragon is sick. Alright, here we go. You guys ready to check out the BB? Here it is. Flame Dragon Flash. Hmm. 45% chance for poisoning signals, baby at BB10. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Alright. So that's our test run. Took them out on our test run. Looking good. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and break Orwin down. Um, first of all, his leader skill, definite plus in my opinion. I think that's a really good leader skill. Um, build BB while you're attacking. Um, I have to test it to see if it's per hit or per entire attack animation. I don't know that quite yet. But uh, either way, it's still pretty nice. It's still pretty good stuff. But um, that ignore defense is what's going to make me put him as the leader of my Metal Parade squad. Um, I am officially going to be taking SGX off for my leader and putting in Orwin as my uh, lead for that. So that's going to be good. Um, as a matter of fact, because he's going to serve that purpose, I can take the sphere off of uh, SGX. But um, besides that, um, nice BB. It's an AOE, which is great. But... Um, it also could cause poison and sickness, which is pretty nice. Um, problem is, nine times out of ten, once you unlock the SBB, you're probably never going to use this BB ever. Um, probably not going to use it ever. So uh, that's a problem. And the main reason being why that's a problem is because his SBB is on a like completely different level than his BB. And what I mean by that is, like I stated earlier, he's inflicting status ailments with his BB and his SBB he's not at all like it's completely different usually when a unit unlocks his SBB it's his BB with something else added to it like for example if you were to take loading you know his BB he refills DC instantly and adds thunder element well his SBB he he refills BB over time he adds thunder element and he does an AOE attack so they usually just add something but this guy's is completely different from his BB so um, I guess you're just gonna have to choose which one is more important the BB is um, a lot weaker than the SBB but it inflicts status ailments while the SBB boosts your attack and ignores the enemy defense for two turns so that's kind of a pain. Um, you're not really going to be using this BB too much once you unlock the SBB. But um, that defense ignore, once again, going to come in real handy for Metal Parade. And it is instant from what I heard, which is a definite plus. That attack boost, 70%. Pretty decent as well. That's not bad at all. Um, not the best attack boost, but it's not horrible. So he's also good for that as well. You never know. Might need it. 
So, uh, all in all, my opinion, I give Orwin, I give him a B plus. Um, main reason being is the di the huge difference between his BB and SBB. But um, like I said, it can still be situational, so that may not be a drawback for you. Um, in my opinion, it just makes him more of a situational unit than an overall usable unit. I'm definitely using him in my Metal Parade squad, though. It's happening. Matter of fact, while I'm sitting here talking about it, <laughs> let me go make him the lead of it now. He's definitely going to be leader from now on. So, um, that's it, guys. That's my um, review of God Emperor Orwin. So, um, don't forget upper right to subscribe, lower right to see the video previous to this one, and the link is in the description for the Facebook group. If you would like to join, I still have a gym giveaway going on, so um, be sure to get inside and uh, try to get your chance at some free gyms, guys. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon, guys. Later.